What's up, guys and dolls? I'm Bernard. This is I Know You, and I just dropped some knowledge on y'all. Blow! But I am at the Houston Watch Company today, so let's see how many different ways I can drink an old fashioned. <laughs> But seriously though, yeah. what you know about death? You ever seen two trains just collide with each other? Arms and toes and fingers just flying all over the place and shiz. If you were like in the food car warming up a frozen pizza, well that, that activity's done, indefinitely. Back in the early 1900s, apparently this kind of crap happened. See, back in 1910, some jerks created the Southern Pacific Railroad Building at uh, 913 Franklin Street. Obviously, there was some type of railroad stuff. I don't know, I don't care. I'm just here to drink these old fashions. Right, look, he's going down, he's going down. About two years later, <laughs> yeah. in 1912, oh, was... some wienerheads moved into the building and created the Houston Watch Company. From this space, from this exact space, they were actually the watch inspectors for over 20 railroads. Yeah, it was good stuff. So what you had to do was, you needed to make sure that your watches were synchronized. So if they weren't, well, your crap was colliding. Again, toes, arms, limbs flying all over the place, and if you're making that frozen pizza, sync up, playa. Synchronize. Scene two. Houston Watch Company, part two. I'm guessing you've probably never even seen this place before. Probably blew past it on your way to the night and get on my Saturday night hoping to squeeze yourself in there. But one of these days, what's gonna happen is you're gonna leave the law offices right down the street and you're gonna be like, huh, I wanna go to a place where I can have a drink and actually hear myself think. Enter Houston Watch Company. This place is legit. The Houston Watch Company is a straight up bar. Don't expect me to rant and rave about bacon wrapped scallops that come flowing out of the kitchen like a fine wine from France. Cut that mess off. If you end up here, it means you like no frills drinking on a prestigious level. <laughs> See, when you end up here, you get true lady and gentleman type drinks. That's right, on that nasty Miller Lite here. Side note, shout out to Miller Lite for winning, uh, what, hang on, what is this here? The um, World Beer Cups Gold Medal for Best American Style Light Lager. Whatever that is. Here, you will find some real beers. Let me run down the menu for you here. On draft, they've got the breakfast stout, they've got yellow rose, they've got devil's backbone. Again, real beer. Not that Miller Lite shiz. <laughs> it's gold. Whiskey selection here is on fleek. Is that a word? Fleek? Fleek. And not to mention, you can get an old fashioned here done four ways whiskey, rye, bourbon, and rum. And it's spelled R-H-U-M. Yeah, because, you know, from the Caribbean crap like that. I wanted to cuss so bad, but I can't cuss. Because you won't let me, YouTube. Standard wine selection. But again, the reason you come here is not necessarily for the beers, not necessarily for the wine, but for the cocktails. Because they are going to shatter your mental. Blow! The atmosphere here is quite nice. Again, we're not talking about the nightingale room where you're trying to squeeze your hiney into one of those booths and make you feel good about yourself. No, the place is really cool. I mean, it's two levels. You got the bar downstairs and you've got these really cool places to sit up here. Not to mention, since this used to be the watch company, there's vaults like all over the place. I got money stored in this one right here. This painting is worth millions. <laughs> Probably not the best place to go on a first date. However, an excellent place to come if you want more of a silent date. You want to hear yourselves talk about something. Honey, we need to talk. I've got the herb. An awesome place to come if you want to get some work done in what feels like a coffee shop atmosphere, but you can actually drink. <laughs> or, if you're downtown, and you just want to look sexy and prestigious as hell. So back in the day, they used to nail spikes into the railroad, and then a guy would come behind and knock those spike tops off. So at the end of the day, I'm giving Houston Watch Company five out of six railroad spike tops. But if I can be honest, 
I'm actually giving them six out of six railroad spike tops based on Matt Fry having some of the best service in town. So anyways, make sure you guys rate, subscribe, like this video, share with your friends, comment down below, let me know some different places around town I should check out. This is all about Houston, the city we love. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Deuces. Okay, I got some for you. This is the Jimmy Fantastic. Jimmy Fantastic! Another brainchild of, <laughs> of mine. Nice! Matt Original style. So we have. It's kind of a, a, a variation on an old pal, but I used uh, Nolly Pratt Extra Dry Vermouth. Right there. Instead of 80 proof rye, I like to use our well, which is, there's no headache juice here, just 100 proof Rittenhouse rye. One ounce. And of course, instead of Chinar, instead of Campari, I like to use Chinar, which is short for uh, uh, Chinarin, which is the chemical component in artichokes that makes them, gives them their sweetness. Not that I've ever considered an artichoke necessarily sweet, because I'm usually having with some spinach parmesan. Oh man, I love some Brussels sprouts. Oh, I love me some Brussels sprouts too. That's because those bad Brussels sprouts. They were burnt, bud. One bar spoon. As all good bartenders would know, two to one turbinado syrup. Chill the coop. Multitasking. Of course. Oh yeah, man. Like, check this out. Nah. Can't do it. Can't do it. Now, the piece de resistance. Fantastic. Courtesy of Matt Fry at Houston Watch Company. Oh my god.